It's tempting to drift through life, but that's not the kind of drifting that appeals to Fordos Asmodin. Once she's picked out a path, she'll stay the course, even if it means going sideways. And she's willing to sweat in search of sculpted perfection. Karishma met up with Fordos to find out more about her twin passions. Fordos has suggested that Karishma join her at the gym. A strong woman looks a challenge dead in the eye and gives it a wink. That certainly is a fit analogy for Fidros as Modine. Breaking many stereotypes when it comes to women, she's a trailblazer of note, and I get to spend the day with her. Fidros has an honors degree in physiotherapy, and she's applied her detailed knowledge of the human body to shape herself as a fitness athlete. This entails strenuous, targeted weight work for muscle development, definition, and strength with cardiovascular for fitness. <laughs> wow, you are one fit lady. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say, I'm so enthralled. There's nothing more amazing to me than a woman with a strong body. How did you get into bodybuilding? I was introduced to the fitness industry actually about just over two years ago when I entered a body makeover challenge. And I was a little bit overweight at the time. And within a matter of 12 weeks, I went from 23% body fat to 10%. After that, I decided to enter a few fitness competitions. And my very first one was Western Province, where I placed third. And after that, I just told myself, I need to place first. And within a matter of a year, I became the South African champion. And I represented South Africa at the World Championships. Take me through your fitness routine. Well, it depends completely on what phase of my routine I'm at. So if I'm doing a bulking phase where I'm wanting to grow, I do a lot of heavy weights and less cardio. I train six times a week. I believe in giving your body a break. So Friday is normally my break day. The rest of the week I train. Eating is very important when you're bulking or when you're cutting, because your food will change according to what phase of your training you're in as well. What do you love most about this? In the past, I used to always look at all these fitness athletes and I used to think that's almost impossible until I decided to challenge myself and I saw how my body changed. What I love most about it is to see what your input can actually achieve and the way you feel, you know, feeling comfortable in my skin, feeling more confident, that is one of the most rewarding parts. How has this changed your life? I am 39 years old and I'm in the best shape of my life. I was diagnosed with endometriosis and I was told by the doctors that I would never conceive. And because of that, I went through depression. I ate too much, obviously, and I was a little bit overweight. So I found almost therapy in training and I feel much better today. I'm a new person. Do you think it's harder for women to achieve the same results as men? I think for women it is a bit harder. We have a little bit more fat on our body. So for a woman to build muscle, it takes a little bit longer. And you also have to be a little bit stricter with what nutrition you're providing your body with. So it's harder, but it's possible. What has been most challenging? I think conditioning your mind to get into a routine which you're not used to is always the toughest. A lot of people in general would say, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I wish I could do that. But if you actually want something, you will make time for it. There's a lot of other crazy things that I actually do. I've got a little surprise for you. I love surprises. Let's go. The surprise that Firdos had in mind was a peek into her other identity as Cape Town's Queen of the Drifters. This motorsport discipline was first popularized in Japan in the 1970s before spreading worldwide. It's a male-dominated field, but she's keen to take on the guys and make them eat their words about women drivers. That was absolutely exhilarating! <laughs> wow! Why did you choose drifting over any other motorsport? I've always been somewhat of an adrenaline junkie. So I've always wanted to do things that I think seemed a little bit impossible. Tell me a bit more about your beautiful car over here. My baby over here, it's an S15 with a NASCAR motor. So it's a V8, it is super fast. Whenever I put my foot down, it just goes. <laughs> so do you want to go for a spin? Yes, please. I've been dying to do exactly that. How dangerous is this? It's, it's very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I trust you. <laughs>
piloting involves piloting the car through a corner with the back wheels spinning while still maintaining precise control of the steering. In addition to competitions and exhibitions, Firdos has also done stunt driving work for commercials. That was one of the most exciting things I have ever done. Thank you so much. What have been some of your highlights? I've uh, competed last year at uh, Drift City. I was the only female amongst about 35 guys, some of the South Africa's uh, top drifters and Gymkhana athletes, and I placed 14. So this year, I'm hoping to beat that. This lady is serious inspiration, and I'm sure she's going to continue flying the flag high for all us go-getter girls out there. But you know what? I think the drifting bug has bitten. Do you think we could go for another spin? Anytime. Let's go.